Keeping resolutions is like losing weight, finding a new job, or quitting smoking. It's no easy task. So we brought in a little help. Life satisfaction coach Laura Berman Fortgang. And Laura is the author of The Prosperity Plan. She's here with us this New Year's morning. Great to have you with us, Laura. Thank you. And Happy New Year. Same to you. So let's get on this prosperity plan. How do we do it? How do you keep that resolution? Well, most of us will give up within a week and certainly more than half of us by the end of the month. So this year, let's do something different. You know, let's let's make it small and have accountability and make things stick. Mm -hmm. We have all Easier said than done. It is, it is. And especially when it comes to weight loss because a lot of people this time of year resolve to shed a couple of pounds this year. Why is that so difficult? Well, look, it's not about not knowing how. We all know you eat less, you exercise <laughs> more. We all know how, so what is it? Maybe it's getting at the cause of the eating. We might need to really look at that. If we're not eating because we're hungry, why are we eating? We need to get to that. But important is to remember accountability. We need accountability. Whether you join one of the national programs that help you lose weight or you have a friend and you do it together, or writing it down yourself, be accountable to yourself. That helps you see it and take the weight of that. And also don't give up. I just lost 10 mm. pounds getting ready for Congratulations. the Congratulations. Thank you. And what made the difference finally was that if I had a bad day, instead of saying, ah, forget it, eat what you want, I said, no, stick with it, stick with it, get back on track. So accountability and consistency. And it's almost like you're telling me there's a mantra that you have to keep in your mind to stay on track. You have to be very conscious, and that's the hard part. We get back to our real life and we just lose track of things. People are oftentimes this time of year thinking about a new job, a better job. What do you think is wrong about that resolution? Well, better is not specific. So any resolution mm. needs to be specific. What, what's better? More money, more, account uh, more authority, more creativity. What's better? Nine out of 10 times, my clients don't need to change jobs. They need to get specific about what needs to change. It might be a smaller thing. And then do research. Do you need to get a mentor, a coach? Uh, get out there and do industry research on what salary you can demand. And even in tough times, you can ask for more. So research, ask for more, and define what you want. Yes, that's the key. Define it. A lot of people this time of year are also thinking, in the new year, I'm going to get a boyfriend, I'm going to get a girlfriend, I'll get married. You know, I'm going to force somebody to get married <laughs> to me, maybe. Um, what's wrong with that, in your view? You know, what's tough about the relationship piece is so much is out of our control. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't control, make somebody marry you. Takes that's not the best. Takes two to tango. It takes two to tango. So I think it's important in this case, if that's your resolution, to stay very open-minded, to be curious about people. Don't make each date Mr. Right, Mr. Wrong, or Miss Wrong, Miss Right. You go home exhausted or depressed. You know, you need to look at, be curious about people. Stay positive. You'll be much more attractive. Mm -hmm. And also, don't let it take over your life. You know, how much time are you going to give to this dating phenomenon in your life? Sure. You know, an hour online a night is probably enough. You know, don't <laughs> let it take over your life. It's, it can't become an obsession. Um, we have very bad habits. Some of us do. And oftentimes we look at the new year as the chance to shed that, quit that habit. But so few of us actually stick to it. Why is that? Well, we do like the new year because it, it's another clean slate time. But I want people to know you can do that every day. Like in my book, The Prosperity Plan, I talk about what if you have a bad spending habit? Mm -hmm. You know, that's a big one. That's an addiction. Smoking. It's an addiction. And that's what I want to say most importantly today is that if it is more than you can handle and you can't quit, please get help. That is nothing to be ashamed of, no matter what category of your life the addiction's in. But if you're going to tackle it yourself, remember you can start over every minute, not just every day, every minute. You don't need the new year. You have to start over all the time to stay with something like that. And also, um, you need to forgive yourself and reward yourself. Mm -hmm. But if you have a spending habit, don't reward yourself by buying something, right. please. You know, Find another habit another to replace the bad exactly. habit. <laughs> I'm only joking there, obviously. But it sounds a lot like there's, there's something that has to come from inside, too. You have to kind of constantly remind yourself about these things and remind yourself of ultimately what the goal is versus what you're trying to do and try and determine, you know, is the short-term satisfaction going to outweigh the long-term goal? It is a constant conversation with yourself. It really is. And that's why it's important to have other people in your life who can support you with that and remind you if you're not telling yourself the right thing. And we did here, we talked about the difference between people who stick to them and don't. It is discipline. It is that inner commitment to yourself. So... You know, start off that year loving what you want to accomplish and loving you and take it slow and small. <laughs> take it slow and small. I, that's a good piece of advice, too. Don't try and overthink or, or get too grandiose with what you want to accomplish. Well, a lot of people for this time of year will set the big goal. I'm going to run the marathon. I'm going to write a novel. This is the year. This is the year. And the important thing is to take bite-sized pieces. No one runs 26 miles the first time. They go to the gym and start getting muscles. Then they go running, right? It so is such a good point. Little pieces. And if I can leave people with one thought, one thing a day 
it can get you to your dream. Just one action a day. I love to end it there. Laura, thank you so much. Happy New Year to you. My pleasure.